दोनों तो घूम नहीं है दोनों जेटिक Web lecture series, and it is my proud privilege as head uh, of the Department of Zoology mm. myself, Dr. Malavika Bhattacharya, to welcome Dr. Ovinava Mukherjee to have an interactive session with our UG and PG students. So I welcome mm. Ovinava, and I will uh, request uh, one of our esteemed faculty, Dr. Trijit Nandu, to just give us a brief introduction about Ovinava. thank you madam good evening everybody ovinovo as already told by madam an illustrious faculty in the department of zoology charchandra college has completed his post graduation from calcutta university in the year 2009 dr mukherjee after cracking csi and net in 2009 joined cytogenetics and molecular biology department of zoology kolani university under the supervision of professor anishur rahman khuda baksh his work was mainly on the this deciphering the apoptotic signal modulation and the modulation of immune status in tumor micro environment particularly in the ras mutated non small cell lung cancer during his phd 2014 2010 2014 and post doctoral tenure 2014 to 2017 he has 25 scientific publications notable amongst which are his publications in the european journal of medical chemistry biomedicine and pharmacotherapy current enzyme inhibition cell proliferation and toxico let he had also act, acted as reviewer of several journal entitled as asian pacific, pacific journal of topical tropical medicine and journal of biochemical and molecular toxicology and ec pharmacology and toxicology Dr Mukherjee did his post doctoral research in as an UGC Daspotary post doctoral fellowship under Professor Tarun Jha Medicinal Chemistry Division Pharmaceutical Technology Dr Jadavpur University <coughs> on matrix melanoma proteinase MMP in abbreviation signaling network a MMP targeted drug both in free and nanoparticle from against metastatic cancer however he has joined in charchandra college from 2017 onwards in the capacity of assistant professor in zoology thank you madam that is all about his introduction in very brief uh obinobo before i move on to you i have a request to all the students in the google meet when obinobo will be sharing his screen please don't share your own screen the moment you are sharing the screen his screen or my screen is going away from the basic uh, window so please make it a point not to share your own screen while the meeting is going on that's a request from my end somebody shared a screen and that is why it went away so obinobo what i will do i'll hmm. stop present uh, i'll stop sharing my screen right hmm. Hmm. so what i'm doing is i'm stop sharing uh, uh, my hmm. screen Achha. and you can carry you share yours okay okay, okay.
Is this visible now? Yeah, your screen is visible. Yes. Am I audible also? Yes, yes. You're audible. Okay. Thank you, Malubika Dian Frijitta, for the overwhelming uh, welcome into this lecture. Uh, thank you all the dear participants and uh, thank you Malavika Di and all the other my dear colleagues of Department of Zoology Thapalpukur Vivekananda College for inviting me to share my research and share my thoughts regarding a very relevant topic of cancer biology. So what I'm going to present today uh, is the paradoxical loop that occurs in between hypertension and the cancer uh, cell mechanistic way in our body. So uh, before going to the, all these slides, uh, let us first uh, clear the idea about what is paradox. So paradox is uh, nothing but a system in which if system A runs to create system B and system B creates to run system C, then the time frame appears when the system C, after being <clears throat> uh, developing, it turns back to develop the system A also. So the time frame in the paradoxical loop is quite a bit astonishing for the researcher because here if A, B, C generates and again the loop forward back into the formation of A. So how this uh, system or how this paradoxical loop is interlinked between the hypertension and the cancer is will be my topic of today. So let us begin. So now, uh, as we have already known that the uh, general mechanistic pathway of cancer development. So this is a cell which are undergoing in a proper... Oh, no, are you there? Yes, I'm there, I'm there. Hello? Oh, no, I think so, we got... I think so, we got disconnected from Obinova, I guess. प्रथम शुरू कर Is it visible now? Is it visible? Okay. Right. So uh, again, I will uh, sincerely showing my gratitude for and giving the thank to um, Alovika Di and Trijitta for the overwhelming welcome uh, into this talk. So, okay. Am I audible? Uh, you are audible. Okay. So what I will going to discuss today is the hypertension and cancer and the paradoxical loop occurs between the hypertension and cancer biology. So before going into the, all the slide details, I will like to put up some idea about what is paradox. What is paradox and what is paradoxical loop? So what is paradox? Paradox is nothing but a system. If we sum up it in a way that if system A run to generate system B and then system B run to generate system C, then if the paradoxical loop occurs in between this system, then the system C again generates the system A so that the loop becomes constant in that system. So in a paradoxical loop, if A, B, C and again the appearance of A occurs so that the loop becomes repeated in a way so that the system can become the in a constant manner. So now I will going to discuss how this paradoxical loop occurs in between the hypertension mechanism in our body and the cancer cell proliferation in our body in a loop way. So let us first start about what is cancer. All of us know, so I'm not going into the details of the cancer biology mechanism. Here is the cell which are undergoing into the cell cycle in a manner of G1S, G2M and the certain DNA damage or the mutation of the tumor suppressor gene will certainly create some genomic instability. And this kind of genomic instability will lead into an uncontrolled proliferation of this cell and uncontrolled regulation of all the cell cycle proteins so that the cell altered its structure 
and begin to proliferate in an uncontrolled way and it alters its physiological appearance than the surrounding cells. At this very moment, when the cell starts to develop an altered character in a highly proliferative manner rather than its surrounding cellular population, the cell, the altered cell, rather I will say, the altered cell is being recognized by body's immune system so that the altered cell is being destroyed by the body's own immune system. But at that moment, the cell, if want to proliferate in a tumorogenic way or it, if it want to proliferate in a cancerous way, it needs ATP for proliferation. And for that ATP, it needs oxygen for proliferation. And for that oxygen, which comes from blood, it generates new blood vessel for progression. And formation of this new blood vessel over here in the genomically instable cell or highly proliferative altered cell is then driven into the formation of certain angiogenic factor which helps to form the new blood vessel so that the cell instead of being destroyed by the body's own immune system or by the by body's own defense mechanism rather it being proliferated in a way that it gets sufficient amount of atp from the oxygen via the blood vessel so the altered cell over here, which are going to be a cancerous in a way, should be destroyed by the, by the body's own immune system. But if the genomically unstable and proliferative cell get the enough blood vessel by the formation of angiogenesis, then it will transform into malignancy and will certainly create the cancer cell in a metastatic way. So we need time. We need time to destroy the altered cell. We need time to regulate our body's own defense mechanism rather than we should not give him any material that would otherwise help them to proliferate in an uncontrolled way or rather I would say in a cancerous way. So if you sum up the, how the cancer cell works, then cancer cell nothing but it works like a mad cell because as if due to genomic instability or, or uh, mutation power, it try to develop every gene it wants. So Rather, in its in those scene, there comes the angiogenic genes also. That is the VEGF, FGF, EGF, the other growth factors related to blood vessel formation. So, in a uh, cancerous cell, it has the power to develop any type of protein over there due to mutation. So, if you put some time over there, if you put some time for the body's own defense mechanism to work upon on that cell, on that altered cell, then the cell were unable to form the angiogenic material and it will be destroyed by the body's own defense mechanism as well. So if we progress over how cancer cell death occurs at an early stage of development, then I've already discussed that immune cell modulation after the cell get altered in a highly proliferative way is the only mechanism to destroy that cell because immune cell of our own bodies can modulate uh, after the cell tend to be proliferative in an uncontrolled manner. What they do? All the cells, all the immune cell in the tumor microenvironment, rather I would say the microenvironment of the altered cell will secrete some immune modulatory cytokines like tumor activated macrophage or T regulatory cells or the other various kind of cell. I will not go into the details of the cancer immunology. These all cells are rushed into that area where the altered cell try to develop and they secret some immunomodulatory cytokines over there, which will certainly create the apoptotic process in the altered cellular body. So how apoptotic process occurs? Suppose the immune cell in the tumor microenvironment secrets an important cytokines like tumor necrosis factor. All of us know that after being secreted, tumor, tumor necrosis factor will certainly create an extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. It will bind with the receptor. Then it will activate the pro-caspase 8 through that the activated caspase 8 is being formed. And I will not go into the details of the mechanism. The cell one try to uh, resist with this activated caspase 8, but will not in a manner that activated caspase 8 will generate in a more faster way so that the part is being cleaved and the apoptotic process is being occurred after being developing the active caspase 3 molecule. So beside this, the mitochondrial cell swelling or mitochondrial swelling also occurs so that the intrinsic pathway will again parallelly run with the extrinsic pathway so that the cell in any how or in any circumstance is being killed. If it not being possible by the immune modulatory cytokines to work upon, then this altered cell will create 
angiogenic process in it and will develop the malignancy in it so for these all the cytokines regulated apoptotic process needs some time needs some fraction of time to develop needs some fraction of time to develop to destroy the cell in a process of apoptosis but during this time or before this time if the angiogenic material is being pushed out or it is being rather i would say is being pushed into the cell or by the cell by the formation of the angiogenic factor then the cell will survive the cancer cell will proliferate by blocking the all the apoptotic process over here now this is if you sum up the cancer cell escape mechanism then i would say rather the cancer cell escape by modulating or by counter striking the tumor microenvironment uh, cytokines imbalance generation here the cytokines here the uh, anti tumor immunity tried to develop in our body i would have already discussed previously that cd8 positive t cell or dendritic cell or tumor activated macrophages or the t regulatory cells were trying to develop in the tumor microenvironment or the rather i would say the altered cellular microenvironment it will not progress into the tumor at that moment so rather i would say all the tumor activated macrophages or the cytokines is being try to develop or is being trying to block the altered cell over here and as this process is going on there the comes the apoptotic tumor cell or the necroptotic tumor cell that is being discussed in the previous slide but before this process if the cell pro proposed here the angiogenic process then the cell will certainly escape the immune modulation in our body and it will certainly counter strike the tumor microenvironment by secreting more anti inflammatory cytokines over here by blocking the body's own cytokines that would otherwise kill the alter cell so here comes the most important mechanism over here that is the angiogenesis because if angiogenesis occurs in a faster way if the cell try if the cell uh, become successful to develop vgf or the other growth factor related to blood vessel in a more faster way than before the cancer immune modulation occurs in its body then it will certainly create a tumor alter cellular Uh, expression, or it will certainly create the malignancy, or it will certainly create the tumorigenesis in the metastatic way. So here I will focus only on this angiogenic mechanism and how, by developing hypertension in our body or by developing unnecessary stress in our body, we are rather gifting them the all the angiogenic material so that before the immune cell can work, before the immune modulation can work, before the body's own defense system can work we will certainly gifted them the angiogenic material so that rather being killed over that over the process it will certainly help the alter cell to proliferate in a more uncontrolled way manner or rather i would say it will certainly create the tumor genesis process in a more faster way so here i will putting some data by checking the reference of recent uh, era that uh, if we put all the uh, cancer uh, related mortality over here then it will it is being predicted over 2020 that's almost almost 1.9 million mortality over there worldwide so though we are concerning over the uh, with the recent pandemic outbreak of covid-19 but all this hidden diseases are there there is cardiovascular disease which creates 17.79 million death there is cancer in the second position which creates 9.56 million and there all these diseases are there hiv aids tuberculosis or the liver disease or the diabetic disease so we are now just focusing on more on to the pandemic that is justified but beside this all the collateral diseases are there we should not be forget uh, these all the diseases especially the cancer because if cancer occurs there in the cancer interlinked with all kind of disease over here so we should never neglect all the hidden diseases over the under the pandemicity so here i will give a brief idea about what is hypertension in the previous slide i am already given the idea that how cancer cell develops how cancer cell escape the immune modulation in our body and how cancer cell develops angiogenesic process to counter strike the immune modulation in our body now i will look into the matter that what is hypertension and how hypertension relates with the cancer cell development uh, 
so what is hypertension hypertension is nothing but a condition in which the force of the blood here you see the rvcs in the arterial wall and the force of the blood against the artery walls is too high and it's solely dependent on how hard the heart has to work how unusual the heart beat how unusual the cardiac output is there the, the up regulation of the unusualness of the heart beat will certainly create more hypertension in our body so if we put the all the stages of hypertension over here then it will divide it into the four stages one is normal then pre hypertension that is mild then stage 1 which is moderate and that is the final stage which is severe hypertension where the severe cardiac alteration in cardiac output occurs and in all this condition the heart beats in an unusual way now we will look into this matter that how hypertension is being generated in our body so the basic mechanism of generation of hypertension in our body is being divided into two way one is physiological and another is hormonal regulation so if we put the physiological cause of uh, hypertension that condition of heavy and persistent mechanical load due to blood pressure or increased volume or obstruction during ventricular filling will certainly down regulates or alter the heart's fine tuned calcium control system then the heart's fine tuned calcium control system becomes unstable and it will certainly create the irregular heart beats over there and the irregular heart beats is being referred as the hypertension uh, condition in the body if we put if we look into the matter of hormonal loop alteration then we will see that sudden release of adrenaline sudden rush of adrenaline abhinav abhinav hello ah amar mone hoy somebody else has again started presentation hmm. but there is another screen of abhinav both hmm. uh, uh, participants please ping that screen tahole i think so it will be uh, uh, the problem will be resolved koto obdi shona gache मुखर्जी And for God's sake, don't share your screen. Obi na mo carry on. I think so. Baki na kote pere chow. People, could you do it? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Then, then. Obi na mo. मैटर Sudden uh, upregulation of blood pressure over here. Now the mechanism of generation appears. So if we put the mechanism of generation of hypertension, then it is certainly divided into two parts. One is physiological, and another is hormonal. Under the physiological uh, mechanism of generation, under the condition of heavy and persistent mechanical load due to blood pressure and increased volume and the obstruction during ventricular filling, will certainly altered. the heart's fine tuned calcium control system and if the heart's fine tuned calcium control system become unstable it will certainly creates the irregular heart beats over there and the irregular heart beats it certainly termed as hypertension in a further more way and if we put the hormonal loop alteration then the sudden release of adrenaline due to stress sudden stress sudden anxiety in our body will certainly up regulates the adrenaline it will certainly create adrenaline in a flight or fight response as we have already seen that a sudden release of adrenaline will create the vasoconstriction and if the vasoconstriction of the blood vessel wall occurs then the blood will certainly creates more pressure into the wall and it will certainly creates more hypertension and another i would say if the adrenaline rush in your body through daily life anxiety or daily life stress then it will create are necessarily hypertension in your body so how adrenaline uh, alters the adrenaline noradrenaline loop is being discussed and now the generation of vasoconstriction will occurs and if adrenaline binds with beta 1 receptor
স্যার মিউট হয়ে গেছেন স্যার আপনি কত অবধি শোনা গেছে বিটা রিসেপ্টর পর্যন্ত মোটামুটি আচ্ছা আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে ওই পিপিটিটা কমপ্লিট শোনা গেছে ইউ স্টার্ট উইথ দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ান ওকে so this is the daily life stress over our body stress and hypertension in our daily life the stress of career the stress of education the stress of it sector over here i would say the stress of first break up the stress of the stress of pollution the sudden stress of sudden news or sudden facebook post or sudden rumor shared in the social media will certainly creates the anxiety or stress in our body and the recent cause of the stress is the fear of corona and the fear of covid-19 all of us know that these see, somebody have to mute his or her can you unmute kore acho please mute yourself okay am i audible yes yes you okay. are audible hmm. and the recent fear in uh, in the worldwide fear is the fear of corona or fear of having covid 19 though that is not being developed not being occurred in this body so this fear will certainly creates the unnecessary hypertension or unnecessary stress in our body and uh, previously discussed that if we gift it the unnecessary hypertension or unnecessary stress in the body then we are certainly gifted the angiogenic material over those altered cells that would otherwise be killed by the body's own defense system. So the unnecessary daily stress and anxiety, the unnecessary daily stress of fear of COVID-19 will certainly create the stem cell generation and hypoxic environment and rather it will develop the vascular endothelial growth factor that is the key material of angiogenesis and these altered cells would otherwise be killed the body's own defense mechanism will certainly get the angiogenic material over there or rather I would say certainly being gifted by the daily life anxiety the angiogenic material over there so that it will generate the tumor progression. So this is the basic mechanism or of how hypertension and cancer is being interconnected how daily life stress and anxiety will certainly create the uh, alteration in adrenaline or alteration in beta 1 receptor or alteration is heart load but now I will focus that how this hypertension and cancer or rather I would say that how the hypertension created by unnecessary stress will certainly create some paradoxical loop over there. So now I will discuss this loop formation or rather the functional attribute of how hypertension and cancer is being related. So let us look close into the slide that this is stress. So unnecessary stress, I have already previously discussed that unnecessary stress will certainly create adrenaline rush in our body. Sudden release of adrenaline will create vasoconstriction and if vasoconstriction occur, then I have previously discussed that pulmonary arterial hypertension will generate. And how it interconnects with angiogenesis? That is that, that how if hypertension occurs, then CD34 positive or CD133 positive hematopoietic stem cells will generate. And other than that, endothelial cell will be altered in its structure so that it can secrete hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha. CD34 or CD133 positive stem cell will certainly remodel the endothelium and will create the upregulation of proangiogenic factor over here. And the hypoxia inducible factor will certainly create more VGF over here. And this proangiogenic factor and VGF will make this cancer cell to bypass this blocking mechanism of our body and will certainly gift him the angiogenic material so that it can form the tumor genesis. So over here the stress by the stress through vasoconstriction we are just upregulate the proangiogenic material or VGF over here so that the cancer cell can get the angiogenic process very simple way in if you put this in a very nutshell way that unnecessary upregulation of stress will unnecessary upregulates the VGF in your body and so that the cell which would otherwise be killed by your body at the very moment it will not and it will certainly bypass the blocking mechanism. So now what are the 
consequence of those people who are being treated already by cancer the cancer already being treated by tyrosine kinase inhibitor or alkylating agent at a very early age or cancer if being detected at an early stage rather stage 1 or stage 2 is also being treated by chemotherapeutic therapy so but this cancer if detected in a, at an early age or the cancer is being treated by this material or even the childhood cancer survivor are having the fear of having cancer over the time in its mind not physiologically in its mind this fear this anxiety though it is survived by cancer though it is treated by cancer though it is treated by this agent but the fear remains in its body the fear rather i would say remains in its mind and this fear will certainly creates the unusual heartbeat and will certainly creates the stress so there remains the up regulation of stress so cancer if already being detected at an early age should be treated or if being treated by this material should be beneficial for him or her but the unnecessary stress in its in its body or rather i would say in its mind will creates the stress feedback loop again in its body so that the vgf can again be gifted as an angiogenic material beside this in a prenatal way stress if being upregulated we rather face shortness of breath we will rather face dyspensia this dyspensia will create hypoxia environment hypoxic environment hypoxic environment will certainly create egf upregulation and endothelial dysfunction and inflammation and this endothelial dysfunction will again create vasoconstriction and through this vasoconstriction as i have previously mentioned that ph will be generated so that there is another short loop over that dyspensia hypoxia endothelial dysfunction and again vasoconstriction and again the same way manner so these all are the mechanism how hyper tension and cancer are interlinked with one another how daily life stress and anxiety or that i would say how daily life and anxiety in its in our mind even being treated by cancer or even being detected uh, uh, at an early stage of cancer also generates some adrenaline rush or that i would say some unnecessary adrenaline rush in its body and that will creates unnecessary upregulation of vgf in its body now what are the paradoxical loop occurs here that is very interesting over here so if i put look that if i put the hypoxia over here then hypoxic condition is being there to generate vasoconstriction and again through vasoconstriction hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha is being generated so <clears throat> if we look over here that hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha will generate vgf but from the name it is quite evident that hypoxia inducible factor again it will paradoxically interlink with hypoxia so there comes the first paradoxical loop over there hypoxia if being down if being down regulated but also being up regulated in a manner this is the first paradoxical loop over there that hypoxia is already being maintained is maintained over there by the hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha which is being created by pulmonary arterial hypertension so this is the first feedback loop over there this is paradoxical because there the system 1 hypoxia that generates system 2 ph that generates system c hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha and it will generate again the system a this is the first paradoxical loop occurs occurs over here the second paradoxical loop loop occurs here is that the if cancer is being treated at an early age or if cancer is being treated by this material will certainly create again the pulmonary hypertension because this material like tyrosine kinase inhibitor or some alkylating agent i will discuss further uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor or alkylating agent will certainly creates the alteration in endothelial cells that will create through vasoconstriction the unnecessary pulmonary hypertension so cancer if it's being treated by this material will again creates the alter paradoxical loop over here so cancer which is being generated through hypertension is being treated by this material will again creates the paradoxical loop so that the cancer is being recut in its body along with this the all the other paradoxical loop is being unnecessarily created by the if the cancer is being detected at an early age or if cancer is being survived by the people because the mind because the fear of having cancer once again though it was not happening in its body 
though the cancer is being detected at an early age should be treated furthermore but the fear in its body will certainly create the unnecessary stress and unnecessary adrenaline rush over here so there comes the again one hypox uh, paradoxical loop over here so if you put the in a nutshell so we will put that there remains almost three to four paradoxical loop over the system where hypertension can interlink with cancer so these are some recent data if you put some recent data then we will clearly see that there is a correlation between recurrence of cancer in cancer survivor due to hypertension as because the prevalence of hypertension in childhood cancer survivors increases sharply with age because if cancer is being treated at a childhood stage but rather i would say the cancer is not being treated mentally at a childhood age so the anxiety still remains there and this anxiety this stress will certainly create the paradoxical loop so that the stress again generates and cancer again been recurred in its body therefore all the childhood people who are survived from cancer recurred the cancer in a way in the further its life cycle so beside this cancer if being treated by these element like antivascular endothelial growth factor or alkylating agent or antimicrotubular agent or proteasome inhibitor will certainly creates endothelial dysfunction and we have already discussed that endothelial dysfunction will certainly create vasoconstriction and hypertension so these all are the recent data uh, 2019 december data from this reference will clearly indicate that unnecessary stress generation or unnecessary anxiety generation or unnecessary anxiety generation in a post cancer street post cancer patient will certainly recur the cancer in its body so if we put a nutshell all the paradoxical loop over here that the if we Uh, put the all the data over here that this is the unnecessary stress generated in our body and this unnecessary stress will create adrenaline mediated vasoconstriction and this adrenaline mediated vasoconstriction as i have previously discussed will create hypertension hypertension will create hypoxia and hypoxia again create endothelial dysfunction it will again create and adrenaline mediated vasoconstriction this is a paradox loop number 1 see over here vasoconstriction hypertension hypoxia endothelial dysfunction then again vasoconstriction occurs so this is the first paradoxical loop over here and the second paradoxical loop over here is the through the hypoxia hematopoietic stem cell generators and it will upregulate the hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha there comes a second paradoxical loop over here that is hypoxia hematopoietic stem cell HIF1 alpha again hypoxia again hematopoietic stem cell again HIF1 alpha again hypoxia again hematopoietic stem cell again HIF1 alpha and in a post cancerous way we would rather say if cancer is being treated by these elements will certainly creates the paradoxical loop through endothelial dysfunction and vasoconstriction the hypertension in its body and the cancer survivor or cancer if being detected at an early age will create certainly the unnecessary fear in its mind that unnecessary fear or daily life anxiety will certainly create the final and most dangerous paradoxical loop over here that will certainly creates the hypertension so in a nutshell we will put all the paradoxical loop into this slide then we will see that there is three to four paradoxical loop runs in this system in this system to establish the correlation between the hypertension and the cancer so what are the significant why nature is being why natural selection occurs to select this type of paradoxical loop over a system that you will be discussed in the further slide so this is the cellular paradox are this the future direction of cancer cell rather i would say yes the cellular paradox is the future direction of cancer cell we are just uh, before pandemic situation we are going to watch movies we are going to watch all the movies related to time travel we love to watch but we never know that the cellular paradox occurs in the cellular system of our body is the time travel movie that is being generated life condition in our body so if we put in a defined way what is paradoxical loop that is the time travel that occurs for the future event is the cause of a past event which in turn is the cause of future event the time travel that occurs when a future event is the cause of a past event suppose there is system a system b and system c if system c is being generated by system a and system b then the paradoxical loop is there if runs then 
it's in turn is the cause of the future event then system c again generates system a in the same time frame at that time frame system a will uh, in the past generate system c so both events then exist in space and time but their origin cannot be defined so in this manner i will rather put all the cancer cell mechanism in a way that more paradoxical loop is there am i audible yes audible over okay okay so more the paradoxical loop over there more the system get con constant as because more the paradoxical loop over there more the constant source is there look into this matter that more the high paradoxical loop over there more the constant source of hypoxia over there more the paradoxical loop over there more the vasoconstriction source is there so if drug is being there to block hif1 alpha or to down regulate the stem cell population but if paradoxical loop over there there is constant generation of hypoxia so if in a system more the cellular paradox generates more the system gets constant and the time frame or the time origin is cannot be determined in the system so this is a hypothetical diagram of time travel and how cellular mechanism of cancer cell is run in a time travel way is put into this slide suppose there is a system a system b and system c it generates in time frame 1 time frame 2 and time frame 3 after system c if there is a paradoxical loop occurs in between system c and system a then after c it is the time for generation of system a but what will be the time is it t1 or t3 there comes the frame where time frame does not exist so if we put a as t1 as uncontrolled uncontrolled proliferation time t2 as cancer development time and t3 as hypertension time so what is the cause hypertension is the cause of cancer cell or the cancer cell after generation creates the hypertension in our body for establishment of its own is neither being determined so more this time frame occurs more we are getting confused that which comes first hypertension or anxiety or stress or the cancer cell so rather i would uh, conclude in a way that more paradoxical loop over there more we are getting confused to target based drug delivery so more paradoxical loop if cancer cell generates in its system more it will get constant and it will creates a time frame modality over its which does not exist we cannot put which was the right time of generation of a is it t1 or t3 because we are moving back into this system so we will say that a b c is the moving forward into the system but after c if it generates system 1 a again so we are getting confused that are we moving forward or backward so this is the story of time travel and this is the story of implication of time travel not in hollywood movies rather than in our body in our cancer cell mechanism so there is a clear indication that more the paradoxical loop more the system will get constant and this is the clear indication of how cancer cell remain to be constant over the time the, sir ekta uh, question korte pari hm इंडिकेशन that uh, how the mechanism of hypertension and cancer is being interrelated is the mechanism of how the cancer cell develops more paradoxical loop over its body so there is the clear indication of cancer cell to be the constant and the cancer cell to be the future direction of the all cell to be a, to be in the position to be a malignant way so this is the root map this is the root map of a cancer free life more we down regulate the stress more we down regulate the anxiety more we will down regulate adrenaline or adrenaline mediated vasoconstriction and more we will down regulate vasoconstriction more we will down regulate hypertension and more we will give the cell for apoptosis don't give them the unnecessary angiogenic factor so by down regulating the daily life stress or daily life fear or daily life anxiety give the altered cell the time for apoptosis 
don't give them unnecessary angiogenic factor don't give them unnecessary hypertension don't give them unnecessary adrenaline rush and don't give them the unnecessary fgf molecule give time give time the body to mediate the immune cell to create the apoptotic mechanism over the altered cell so that the cancer cell can blocked in its malignancy so have a stress free life have a cancer free life this is the root map before going into the, all the details this is the answer of all the slide that have a stress free life have a cancer free life more we will generate stress more we will gift more vgf into a altered cell so if you put more less stress in our daily life we will certainly create a road map for a cancer free life so all i want to live my life without stress without worries i don't to be rich or famous i just want to be happy being happy in a mind will certainly create a life with less anxiety or less stress and it will certainly create the road map for a cancer free life more we generates more worries in our life more we generates more greed in our life more we generates more time to our life to become successful not just becoming happy more we will generates more vgf in our body in a nutshell so i just want to live i think everybody should love i want to live his or her life without stress and worries they just want to be happy they just want to be happy this is the key source of a or key road map of a stress free anxiety free and cancer free life as a whole i am thankful greatly thankful to malavika di and dr malavika vartacharya head department of zoology for giving this beautiful opportunity to share my work and thought regarding cancer biology and the paradoxical loop over there i would also like to thank all my respected senior shamita di trijitta and all the respected senior colleagues of department of zoology vivekananda college thakur pukur thank you all the dear participants students and to my respected teachers colleagues friends hopefully this kind of lecture and also help in doing a lot of research in the upcoming years because deciphering cancer cell mechanism is just deciphering the life and deciphering the life is the only motto of a researcher to live upon so do you have any question now it's time to for question first of all obina over thank you so much but there are plenty of questions amar ekta student i don't know gargi are you there যাদের क्वेश्चन আছে তোমরা চ্যাট বক্সে লেখো আগে চ্যাট বক্সের क्वेश्चन উইল টেক আপ এন্ড দেন উইল মুভ অন টু এনি ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল क्वेश्चंस যেটা তোমরা সরকে ডাইরেক্ট করতে চাও এন্ড অভিনব আমার প্রচুর স্ট্রেস হচ্ছে সো আই এম সাসেপ্টেবল আই থিংক সো তুমি তো হাসি মুখে স্ট্রেস নাও তাই জন্য তোমার ওই স্ট্রেস গায় লাগে না এন্ড দিস অনলাইন সিস্টেম পুরো 24 আওয়ার্স এখন কম্পিউটারের সামনে বসিয়ে রাখছে না ওটা তো ফিজিওলজিক্যাল স্ট্রেস ইন্টারনালি তো তুমি হ্যাপি হচ্ছে এরকম একটা ওয়েবিনার আয়োজন করে দ্যাট আই অ্যাম হ্যাপি ফ্রেশ তাহলে তাহলে সেলটা এখন ভিজিএফ পেল না ওকে না আই থিং আমার ক্যাপচার লেট মি লেট মি ক্লারিফাই ওয়ান থিং সি व्हेन আই অ্যাম ডুইং মোর ওয়ার্ক ইফ আই লাভ দ্য ওয়ার্ক ইউ আর সেইং দ্যাট দ্যাট উইল নট ক্রিয়েট এনি ইন্টারনাল স্ট্রেস নো স্ট্রেস মানে কনস্ট্যান্ট অফ হ্যাভিং ফিয়ার অফ সামথিং সেটা স্ট্রেস আজকে ওবিনারটা ভালো করে হবে তো না আজকে যদি অভিনব না আসে কি হবে সেটা তো তুমি হাসি মুখে আছো সেটাতে অসুবিধা নেই কিন্তু সেটা নিয়ে যদি মাথায় হাত পড়ে যেত তাহলে সেটা কনস্ট্যান্ট একটা অ্যাংজাইটি বা স্ট্রেস ক্রিয়েট করতো তখন তোমার মনে হতো কি না আমি ভালো করে ওবিনারটা করি তখন সাডেন রাস হতো অ্যাডেনালিনটা ওইটা প্রবলেমেটিক দেখো নরমালি স্ট্রেস হলে তোমার অ্যাডেনালিন রাস হবে এটা খুব স্বাভাবিক এটা ন্যাচারাল সিলেকশন কারণ প্রিয়েটার অ্যাটাক করলে আমাদের পালানোর জন্য ফ্লাইট অর ফ্লাইট রেসপন্স আমাদের অ্যাডেনালিনই বার করতে হবে কিন্তু সাডেন রাইসটা প্রবলেম সাডেন রাইসটা হলেই তখন হাইপার টেনশন হয়ে যাবে মানে তোমার হার্ট বিটটা বেড়ে গেল তারপরে আবার কমে গেল এটা যদি ক্রমাগত হতে থাকে তাহলে এটা পারসিস্ট করে যাবে সেইটা প্রবলেম সাডেন কথাটা এখানে ইম্পর্টেন্ট ওকে তোর সাথে তো এনিওয়ে মাই প্রবলেম আই ক্যান ডিসকাস উইথ ইউ উইথ ইউ কনস্ট্যান্টলি আমরা একটু স্টুডেন্টস এর প্রবলেমে নিয়ে যাচ্ছি গার্গি আর ইউ देयर यस मैम ওকে নাও লেটস স্টার্ট ডু স্টার্ট উইথ দ্য क्वेश्चंस অফ দ্য চ্যাট বক্স এন্ড দেন ইফ এনি ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল ওয়ান্টস টু ডাইরেক্টলি ইন্টারঅ্যাক্ট উইথ সার উইল অ্যালাউ দ্যাট চ্যাট বক্সে কি আমি স্যার আই উইল বি টেকিং দ্য क्वेश्चंस ওয়ান বাই ওয়ান এম আই অডিবল টু ইউ यस অল ওকে স্যার সো দ্য ফার্স্ট क्वेश्चन ইজ फ्रॉम মধু পর্ণা Uh, she is saying that uh, stress is almost an unavoidable 
thing and has become a present day situation this mm. time so mm. uh, as you mentioned that it creates hypertension and is also linked to the cancerous effects so is there any ways of preventing the paradoxical loop paradoxical loop ke prevent korar jonno we should prevent the unnecessary stress there is a difference between stress and unnecessary stress over there जर हम डाक्टर देखो स्ट्रेस का जर हाँ भय लगे शर्टनिंग ब्रिद है मैं लांग के पुरो भल्यूमे ब्रिद करते तक डिसपेन्सिया तो प्राणायम करी डिप ब्रेथ नहीं डिप ब्रेथ नीले तो एम एडेनल रेस्ट्रिक्टेड जो थे कारण डिप ब्रेथ नीले की कैंसारिटेक्शन सबाई 